Is this condition clear? Okay. What's the general formula for the model?
probably the most important of them is the exponential function 1 over x e to the power of ax and something like this. I mean, you don't have to look into all those different uh, trigonometric functions because about 90% of every table of integrals would be different trigonometric functions. You don't have to look too deeply into those, you have just uh, to understand how to differentiate simple functions and this, uh, this should be enough, but actually the tricks are not in the table integrals, but what stands behind them. So, uh, uh, the integrals of trigonometric functions you will need later on when you get to the, uh, to the differential equations, uh, which is going to be in the first semester. I mean, students are studying this right now. So, we have supposed the above eight months uh, to get to this point. You have to understand the concept of the definite integrals. And again, understand this at the level of the concept. The, uh, the definite, uh, the definite integ uh, integral is mainly an area. So, for example, if we have quantity and price, and we have supply and demand, then we can draw the, cons the concept of the consumer surplus. This is going to be x0, which is the equilibrium price and quantity. And then this portion over here is going to be what is called the consumer surplus. This portion over here between the equilibrium price and the, uh, and the supply curve is what is called the producer surplus. Again, this is a small concept from the microeconomics. You have to find this if you know those two functions. You can, uh, you can find this using the integrals. So basically, the consumer surplus is found as the integral from 0 to x0, from 0 to this point, of the demand function minus 0 x0. So this is going to be the area under this curve minus this rectangular. I think in the similar fashion you can find uh, the producer surplus, which is found as again as the definite integral from zero to x zero of the supply function. But actually this is going to be with a minus sign, so this is going to be negative. Plus B0 x0. So you'll have to subtract uh, this little portion from, uh, from, from everything else. I mean, this little portion from everything else. But then, once you, uh, once you understand the concept, you will have to, to look into the properties of the definite integral, which involve Limits of, the, uh, limits of integration, integration of the constants, integration of uh, yeah, the splitting the integration uh, region into, into several and so forth. Again, they are found in every book. Uh, you have to remember them. Uh, what uh, might be interesting is differentiation of the integrals with respect to the limits. This little piece that I would like to show. So, for example, if you have the integral from a to t, and you have the integral of some function f x t s, and you would like to find the derivative of this integral with respect to t. So now the integral has the integration limits from a to t, and basically this is the function of t. And since this is the function of t, you can try to find the derivative of this function with respect to this t. And t goes to the limits of integration. And finding that this is basically f prime of t and just f of t. Is it magic? Is it terrible? Let's try it again. Now we have integral from 
t to b uh, for x dx. So basically, this is what this uh, this part over here is a prime of x with limits from t to b. However, this is going to be f prime at b minus f prime at t. f prime at b is going to be 0. Because the function, uh, the, the, function uh, the, the, uh, the function of b is not changing, this is why f prime of b is 0. And here is what is left. So this is minus f prime of t. Prime is the prime function. And the prime function in our case is just f of t. So this is negative f of t. to find the integral something like that. Indefinite integral of x squared plus 10 to the power of 50 to x dx. Uh, sorry, please. Uh, in the first row, we have uh, the argument of, of function f. What, what argument of the f? This product? f of x. Yes, and uh, f as a function of z. Hmm? Of this product, b and uh, multiply b. Ah, b no. Okay. Yes, of course. Thanks. So, if you want to find the integral that looks up like that, uh, you basically can find the 15th power of this function, and this is going to be a bit messy, but you can have some substitution except uh, instead. So let's say function u is going to be x squared plus 10. In this case, du is going to be to x dx. So instead of going to be integral of u to the power of 50 du, which makes it pretty simple to solve as 1 over 51, u to the power of 51 plus c. And then substitute everything back, we shall get 1 over 51 times x squared plus 10 to the power of 51 plus c. So this is the integration by substitution. And again, take any stuff like Yemidovich or Bayerchuk, whatever textbook, and try to solve several examples on, substitu uh, on substitution. When you have limits of integration, substitution can become a little bit trickier, but still the principle is the same. Integral from 